NFT reveals are a new trend when launching a collection. Reveals enable you to add an element of mystery and hype to your collection. And in this video, we're going to learn how it's done. If you're new here, my name is Joseph and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. In this example, I'm going to do a reveal for a Mario collection. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open up Remix and create a new file called Mario Collection. Then we're going to head over to Open Zeppelin and copy their example implementation for an ERC721 contract. Let's take that code and paste it into our file on Remix. Now let's make some small modifications to the code so it matches our collection. First, let's replace all references to game item with Mario Collection. Then let's change the symbol to Mario. Next, we can add two variables that we will use for our reveal. The first is a private Boolean called revealed. We will use this to toggle between revealed and not revealed states. The second is a private string called reveal URL, which we will use as a URL to the metadata when the collection has not been revealed yet. Now we can rename the award item function to mint NFT and update the player keyword to be the collector keyword. Next, we'll need to override the token URI function because this is where we build the logic for the reveal. Inside the token URI function, we will simply check if the collection has been revealed yet. If it has been revealed, we will return the URL of the NFT. If it hasn't been revealed yet, we will return the reveal URL. And finally, we'll just need to create a revealed collection function, which is simply going to set revealed equal to true. You can see that the images I'm using are of different Mario World characters and also a single image that we will use for the reveal. So let's go over to Pinata and upload our images. If you haven't used Pinata before, go ahead and click sign up. Once you log in, select upload and then choose the folder which contains all the images. Once that is done, we can take the CID and insert it into our JSON files that contain all the information about our NFTs. Then we can upload these files the same way we uploaded our images. Then we can take the CID for these JSON folders and insert it into our smart contract by replacing the CID reference with the actual CID. And that's it. Now we can deploy our NFT collection onto the Gorley network and mint our NFTs. If we look at our NFTs on OpenSea, we should be able to see the reveal image for all of them. Now we can go back to the smart contract and click reveal, which will reveal all the images and attributes of our NFT collection on OpenSea. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about NFTs, feel free to check out our course NFT 101, where I guide you through creating your own NFTs. You can find a link in the description below and I'll see you next time.